Welcome back Drink Stuff fans and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the glasses that I think you need to set up your home bar. This is part two of a three part, uh, starting off as a three part series of what I've done in the previous video. I talked about the bartending equipment I think you should need and what you could upgrade to. In this one I'm going to kind of give you a rough outline of the kind of style of glasses that you kind of need to start your home bars. Stay tuned at the end of this video, there's no other way for me to do this really, but stay tuned at the end of this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some b-roll in there and I'm going to take the camera around the rest of uh, the showroom here because there are hundreds of glasses in here and for me to keep cutting and talking about them at the same time is going to take too long. So at the end of this video there's going to be a lot of b-roll just to kind of give you inspiration from all the different glass ranges that drink stuff do. So if you like the sound of that make sure you like and subscribe uh, to this video and then join me on your journey to help you and give you inspiration about how to uh, set up your home bars and how to get into home bartending and make better drinks. So in this video I'm talking about the glasses and where better to start than the humble highball glass. Highballs uh, and I've just got I've just picked up some random examples off the shelf here. Uh, basically anything between I would say 12 for me personally 12 and 16 ounces uh, and I will even show you I forgot that all the fun tiki stuff is over that shoulder as well uh, so I'll kind of do a little bit of b-roll about them but you could kind of incorporate hang on a sec there you go, you could kind of incorporate uh, something like that as well into your highball armory. Um, you don't really need too many different styles of highball glasses. I personally have uh, always made sure I've got a slightly smaller one, a 12 ounce, a 14 ounce and a 16 ounce. The 16 ounce ones I tend to use for more uh, kind of fun tiki style drinks, rum punches, all the fun and fruity drinks uh, like that and the smaller ones tend to be the more sort of delicate balanced kind of cocktails without too much juice and things like that. But as I say, lots of different ways you could go. Um, there's no right or wrong, but they are imperative. You do really need a decent highball glass. Now the next style of glass that is massively important to your home bars is the kind of martini glass or a coupe glass. There's no right or wrong. I've just picked up a few here. There are literally hundreds here that I could pick up. I've just tried to keep it as basic as possible. So uh, these are the first ones. Coupe glass, uh, martini glass. Just eyeballing this, I would say that is roughly about seven and a half ounces and that might be slightly smaller, might be about six ounces. I think personally you do need two types, two sizes of martini glasses. I do think you need uh, something smaller and that's a Nick and Nora glass as well, also sort of classed as a coupe glass. And so you can see that on the close up. Uh, something about four and a half, up to the very maximum six ounces because you do make a lot of cocktails that don't have mixers in, for example. Um, just take the, the straightforward standard martini. You know, if you stuck uh, a gin martini in there, which is essentially a double measure of gin and a tiny bit of vermouth, it is gonna be absolutely lost in a glass like that. Whereas in a glass like that, it's absolutely perfect. So I do think you need, to, you need two different sizes. So these would be your more elegant, juice-free kind of martini serves. However, if you're going for the juice and a bit longer kind of, and even like daiquiris and tiki cocktails, uh, I do personally love coupe glasses. I think coupe glasses uh, for me are way better than this the sort of standard V-shaped martini glasses. But just to give you some ideas of what you could go coupe glass wise, um, We've got that and then we've got, I'll, I'll do this, a shelf of these, about four or five of these over there as well. I'll show you these old traditional style uh, coupe glasses as well, which I absolutely love, brandy glasses. So it's lots and lots of different things. But as I say, don't go, for me personally, don't go too much bigger than seven and a half, eight ounces. I don't think you need that big unless you're making double sized porn star martinis. But I, I genuinely don't think you need something like that. Um, but all these, and saying they will also double up for champagne flutes as well. But coupe versus martini, completely up to you. But as I say, I think you do need the two sizes, up to five ounce, pushing six, and then sort of up to sort of seven and a half, eight ounces, uh, but nothing bigger than that. So that is martini glasses and coupe glasses. Right, the next style of glasses you need are what I call uh, rocks glasses or think tumbler glasses. I've just picked up four examples here. These would be the slightly smaller ones that you kind of make your old fashions in, uh, your Mai Tais and things like that, uh, as sours, amaretto sours or whiskey sours or whatever. Uh, again, for me, there's, uh, there's a few different sizes. I try 
um, and sort of stick to about 12 and a half ounces. Uh, that's the sort of standard. I think they're traditionally called double old fashioned glasses. Um, they're, they're the drinks you would kind of just drink neat whiskey out with, maybe a cube of ice or something like that. But for me, I always, as cocktails, I, I'm one of these people that always tries to make bigger cocktails or use more ice. So for me, the whole 12 and a half ounce thing does work perfectly. I could tell instantly uh, that this one, uh, it's a crystal, I've got a couple of these at home. Uh, I know that's bigger. That, just looking at that, is easily a 14 ounce. But something like this actually would be about 10 ounces. Uh, and this definitely, um, 12 ounces, I might even say on the bottom there, but I can tell that these are 12 ounce glasses there. So I, you definitely do need a, a rocks glass, a tumbler in your collection as well. And not overly too many, it just depends on the style of cocktails that you love making. But as I say, old fashions, sours, you know, and even if you don't want to put espresso martinis into a martini glass, you can serve them up over ice, it's no problem. Uh, but you wouldn't obviously do that in a tumbler and a highball glass. So. Um, Yes, that's the next style, rocks glasses. As for the rest of the styles of glasses, there's not actually too many examples left in the showroom. They're kind of focusing on this, but obviously we've got uh, things like gin balloons. Now, openly and honestly, I don't like gin balloons. I actually use mine for spritzes, Aperol spritzes, limoncello spritzes, rhubarb spritzes, uh, whatever kind of spritzes you use, that's what I use my gin balloons for. Um, if you're a gin and tonic fan, obviously you want uh, some gin balloons and you've probably already taken care of all that already. But um, for the purpose of a cocktail video, definitely spritzes. I would use them in, as spritzes more than I would wine glasses. Um, also kind of champagne flutes. Uh, there's lots of really cool sort of champagne flutes again. Uh, but again, it's one of those glasses that people tend to have at home. Uh, you just could pimp them up very slightly if you wanted better. Um, uh, kind of champagne flutes, but most people have gone. And then uh, obviously, and th they aren't here, and I was going to show you them, but I'll put little pictures up on screen. We've got uh, things like hurricane glasses or pina colada glasses. Obviously, it goes without saying, you would use them uh, for your pina coladas, your hurricanes. I kind of put sex on the beach in them as well. Those kind of fun drinks, the woo woos, all that sort of fun drinks. Um, but then I really, really like what we call sling glasses. I, they come in lots of different sizes and there's a couple more sling glasses down here. This would be roughly about 12 and a half ounces, uh, which is just a half. So to work in ounces, uh, 10 ounces is half a pint, 20 ounces is a pint to give you that kind of relative ratios. This would be about 12 and a half ounces. Uh, some uh, um, sling glasses down there, which are about 14 ounces. So I really like them. They're, re they're slightly different to highball glasses, but they kind of give you a different different uh, kind of more premium, more glamorous kind of look for your cocktails. And then the final things just to really shout about are obviously shot glasses. You kind of want, you, you can have some fun in here. When COVID's over, you're going to have your friends around, you're going to have shots. So you want some uh, decent shot glasses. Six is never enough. So you obviously want to invest in a few more shot glasses. But then the question I get asked all the time is, do you, um, should I have a margarita glass? In honesty, um, I don't actually own one. I don't own a margarita glass. I actually like my margaritas uh, served up in little rocks glasses, little tumblers, whiskey glasses, whatever you want to call them. Or you could serve them up without ice in coupe glasses as well. So whatever takes your fancy, but I think they are the key glasses. What I'm going to do now for you is uh, do shoot some B-roll and I'm going to go around the studio, maybe with a little bit of commentary, um, just to kind of give you a rough idea of the more premium glasses uh, that you could uh, that you could invest in on the Drink Stuff website. Uh, so make sure you like and subscribe this video. Uh, we'll cut out some B-roll now, but I will see you in the next video. So here we have all of the tiki glasses that you can see here. These are really cool to add in fun to your cocktails. Really love them. Look at them cheeky faces down there. We've got all the kind of ceramic Tiki glasses, I've done a video about them. And then we've got all these in different colors as well. So lots and lots of different tiki glasses. You can build up a collection of these if you wanted to. Uh, and these would just go into, as I say, just normal kind of highball rocks glasses. You get, they go in difference in sizes. So for instance, that one at the back, I know is pretty big, closer than to 20 ounces, but you get things like that that are more like 14 ounces. So that is tiki glassware, lots and lots of that to invest in. Now, as we move into the posh area, I'm gonna try and do this shelf by shelf 
and you can kind of a lot of these have got the um, the browns behind them, so you can see there. So you've got some really like this sort of sort of crystal glassware uh, that you can kind of get in anything from kind of brandy snifters, martini glasses, gin balloons, Nick and Nora glasses in there, little tumblers. And uh, we go down here to the Diamante range again. Really, really stunning sort of glasses, more premium kind of feel. We're going down there, the back range. Again, look at all those kind of lovely martini glasses. Kind of really like them. Uh, and we've got the, this is kind of more like the glasses that I use on events. I've got a lot of the perception range and they're quite indestructible, quite easy to use. I really, really like their um, perception. I think they're sort of slightly toughened as well. And we come down here, go up there. These are really lovely as well. But if we come up to the Speakeasy range, again, this is another range that I've got quite a lot of. You might recognize some of these glasses from my channel. I've got the uh, the Coupe glasses there, the Nick and Nora glass, uh, really love these. These ones are kind of cool. This is a couple of ones I picked off the bottom of the, off the, um, for the videos, but what you can't see is, what I didn't show you on videos, they're kind of slightly oblong whatever the word is you've got there we've got these really really lovely so you could literally spend hours just looking at all these these are stunning 1924 range here again we'll go down there and then again uh, the indessa range i use the indessa range a lot you recognize that glass a lot a lot of my cocktails on my channel get served up in that uh, good 14 ounces i think looking at and we've got the 10 ounce there we go up to 16 and a half ounce i think it is and then uh, 13 and a 14 and a half ounce there plus the tumblers i really do love the indessa range and uh, we've got gloves there another range that i use quite a lot the michelangelo my other coupe glasses that i use on my channel are the michelangelo range uh, got here again some nice can't, i'm not even going to butcher that name but there we go <laughs> got some champagne glasses up there dash bottles we'll talk about that we'll talk about bitters and all that in another video but let's just come around the front here this is where we start to get into the more classic and the vintage range these are some of the old traditional style coupe glasses if we go in close you'll be able to see some of the patterns on them they're really cool really like them again i'm not quite sure the brands of what these what these ranges are called but these are lovely and stunning we love them uh, not worth going down the bottom. These are really cool as well, kind of like them, banquet style. These, I love these as well. These are kind of new modern sort of um, glasses. Really cool. Gym balloons up here. And we're still going. We'll come around. We'll come around here, look. We'll zoom out of these. This is where you start to get the more normal sort of glasses we've got there. But just to my left, I'm going to swing around in a second. Again, we're, we're going into up in the ante a little bit. So uh, gin balloons, really, really nice gin balloons. Again, again, some really kind of cool different tumblers in there. But these are the lovely sort of crystal ones. Love these rocks glasses. I sh showed you a couple of those a minute ago. Again, we'll come up here. Arca Rock, pretty much the basics of most pub and bars. Most pub and bars will be that, or Libby. Uh, call these. Again, pretty standard sort of glasses. Uh, there's one more, one more kind of display to show you, which is right here. And again, these are uh, sort of lovely new additions. I'm gonna finish on some of my favorites in a second. Uh, you'll probably recognize from my channel again these these are lovely really really cool coming back into fashion uh, just down there got there see that these are these are really cool as well really like them let's just come back down the bottom And then we are going to finish on these. I absolutely love these. These are proper, solid, really heavy. I have to come out here, but I love them. They're called Diablo glasses. Really, really cool glasses. You'll see a lot of them on my channel. So there we go. That is all the glasses 
currently there are a lot more to show you but all the glasses at drink stuff